Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica, thanks for joining me. Today I'm participating in the Crafting for a Cause collab, hosted by my friends, Teresa of Teresa B DIY, and co-hosted by Tammy of Happiness Created. This month's charity is Autism Services. I'll have donation links in the description box for Easter Seals. They are a leading nonprofit provider of services for individuals with autism and other special needs. You'll be able to access all information regarding their services and their commitment to assisting those who may benefit from them, as well as autism success stories from both children and adults. Please take a look at all they have to offer. And if possible, please consider donating to a very worthy cause. I'm making this fleur de lis medallion today. With the right tools, it's a quick and easy one. Let's get into it. I'm starting with a nine inch styrofoam disc and I cut out a seven inch circle on cardstock and I drew fleur de lis to fit in the center of it. I'll trace this onto my disc with the marker. Then I'll trace all my fleur de lis. and I'm making X's on the sections that I'll remove. I'm using my hot wire tool to cut out those sections. This tool is the best for cutting styrofoam. It heats up and melts the foam like butter. Be sure to do this in a well-ventilated area though, because there are fumes. I'll push that wire straight through and just follow my line, I mean. Look at how easy it goes through this. Love it. And it pops right out. Nice and smooth. So I'll just continue on until all my sections are cut out. I want to add some details, so I'll draw them on first. I'm keeping it really simple. I'm going to score these lines to get some grooves. This can be done with anything a bit pointy, like this nut picker. However, I'm going to use my hot knife. It has an engraving tip, and this too will make it so much quicker and easier. Again, just following those lines and the styrofoam melts. I'll mix some joint compound with some burnt umber acrylic paint. I like to do this because sometimes the joint compound will break off while you're working with it and it makes it so much less obvious if there's a base color mixed in with it. I spread it on with a craft stick, then I'll use a paintbrush to work it into the foam and spread it out. I'll coat the entire thing front first. Once that dries, I'll do the back side. I make sure to get in all the openings and grooves. I switched to a smaller brush to get into those smaller spaces. And then I'll set it aside to dry. So it's been about an hour and it's nice and dry. And I'll go back in with more compound to fill in any gaps and little holes that I see. I'll dampen my brush a wee bit to thin out the compound and I'll fill in the gaps and then I'll let it dry again. With Americana light cinnamon acrylic paint, I'll give it a really good base coat, just one single coat of this color. And then I'll let that layer dry completely before I go into my next step. Okay, now that it's dry, first I'll dry brush with burnt umber, catching all the edges and grooves.
Then I'll dampen the brush a little bit, making a stain with the burnt umber, and I'll just brush it on. This makes it easier to sink into those details. And then I'll wipe it back with a paper towel. This is where sometimes some of the joint compound might break off. That's why I like to wipe that excess moisture off with the paper towel. And I'll just add the stain wherever I feel like it needs that aged effect. I repeat this process, this time with ceram coat charcoal. I'm adding layers of color to get that old metal look. Again, concentrating on the grooves. Next layer is a dry brush of Folk Art Metallic Copper. This will grab the rough spots, which will really make it appear like a gritty, pitted metal. I'm pretty much just going over the entire surface with the copper. With Americana Indian Turquoise, I'll give it a wee bit of verdigris patina. Using a damp brush, I'll apply it and a cosmetic sponge to spread it. And now I'll come back in and brush it again with the metallic copper. Next I'll use an old toothbrush. I'll dampen it and dip it in some charcoal paint and I'll add some charcoal sprinkles. To embellish, I'll add these glass beads just by pushing them right into place. They don't even need any glue. They just stick right in there. And finally, I'll seal it with a coat of Mod Podge. And that's it. This is a really simple project and it's very budget friendly. I hope you like it and we'll give it a try. Thanks to Teresa B and Tammy for bringing us all together. Please be sure to check out their channels as well as the playlist for some awesome projects. Those links, along with the link to the Easter Seals and my supply list are in the description box. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.